What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Overdose. I'm your host, Don J. Today, I'm joined with a special guest. Introduce yourself. It is it's Danielle Rochelle. All right, Danny, where can they find you on Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is it's Danielle Rochelle. All right, so now we're about to finish up this uh, fresh and fit video, but it's a whole new topic. And the topic that we stopped on is what do women want from men? So before we start the video, I want to throw the question to you. What do you want from men? In what aspect? In relationship aspect. Um, I want a man who can be vulnerable with me. I want a yeah. man who is strong. No. I want a man that can be strong. How do you want to be strong and vulnerable? Because why can't you be two different things? You got to be one thing. You can be both. How can you be both? Because when you're with me, mm -hmm. you can be vulnerable enough to be sensitive and be soft, softer with me. Mm -hmm. But then I want you to be mean to everybody else. Okay. You can be both. Okay. I want a provider. Mm -hmm. um, everything else is like small details, but I, that's, that's, that's what I want. Okay. So to put it in a nutshell, provider and someone who's, I guess, emotionally tied to you, but fuck everyone else in the world. Yeah, I don't want a friendly guy. Okay. All right. Let's continue. And he would want her to assume the answer. Like, you're all supposed yeah, to know. So I just want to know out of curiosity, not really personally for myself, because I'm not looking to marry either of you gentlemen. Yeah. But I wanted well, we to know. We could definitely speak for a lot of guys. Yeah. What we're going to tell you is going to be the unfiltered truth yeah, of what so men really want. I would want. love that. So that's what my question is. My question is, what does a man see in a woman? Like, okay, now let me throw the question to you. What do you think men want from women? Um, I think men want um, a lady, or, or or what we say, a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Okay. Um, I think a man wants a feminine woman. Um, he wants femininity. Um, and I think he wants a woman that's not lazy. She doesn't have to be the breadwinner, but she doesn't. He doesn't want a lazy woman. Okay. Okay. You're missing a lot of key points. <laughs> um, here's being what men. Short with it. Huh? I'm just being short. Yes, but no, 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 but here's what men really want. Feminine. You got that right. That right on the head. He want. We want a very feminine woman. When it comes to being feminine, we want someone that's coachable. We want someone that's moldable. We want someone to be able to follow our lead, etc. Um, you miss the loyalty part. The loyalty is actually above that, and attractiveness is above that. So loyalty, how loyal is the woman? Is she willing? To, is she willing to maybe give you the password to her Instagrams, or cut out girls' nights out, or not have male friends, things like that, to show her loyalty towards you? So it's just loyalty is a very. <laughs> why are your eyebrow? Talk to me. I no, saw your eyebrow I, move. I mean, Let me I'm see. I'm just, I'm just listening. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a woman and you're a man, so I'm yeah. just listening to what you're, what you're saying. No, no, no. You had an eyebrow. I want to hear. What are your, what my are your eyebrows thoughts? do a lot. I, I just, I mean, I'm just, I'm just listening. I mean, loyalty. Um, yes, I think loyalty is very, very important. Yes. I mean, um, I think when we're talking about these things, it depends on what caliber of man we're talking. Um, mm. High society, all that. I think that all matters because it's, you know. A man that makes a certain amount or is in a certain class or status or tax bracket mm -hmm. can ask for those things because it sounds almost like puppetry. Okay. But it sounds like what? Kind of puppetry. Puppetry? How you know, is it puppetry? I hate this is what I can't stand. <laughs> I can't stand when women that are tend to be a little older say that it's puppetry when it's more so I just want a woman to follow my lead. I want a woman to be moldable. I want a woman to be coachable. I want a woman to fit into the frame of me. You want someone that's complimentary towards you. Not someone that's going to be button heads that's going to be fighting you at everything that you do. Well, not button heads and fighting, but I would hope that a man wants a woman to be her own. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. there, you, you, I could follow yeah. your lead and still be me. I shouldn't have to be molded into this perfect trophy doll for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, let <laughs> me you. still be me. So yeah. that's what I mean by puppetry. I don't mean no a woman should let a man lead. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, even if you're he the head, you can't move without a neck. Okay. So, yeah, like, I, but, but some guys aren't even at that point and they're asking for you to be all this. You're not there yet. 
I would agree 100%. Well, shit. Some dudes that are not there yet still are asking for these things, but that should show you that most men, it's not about the caliber of the men. It's about the mm-hmm. most men want these things. And also, when it comes to the loyalty thing, is you, again, what we talked about earlier, you said body count don't matter, but that's why it does. Because biologically speaking, we don't know if the kid's ours. Obviously, DNA is a new thing, so now, obviously, we can't get equipped fast enough to be like, okay, I can check and see if the child is ours, but... As a man, I can't know the child is mine. So in my brain, in my, what do you call it, programming, I just don't want a woman that's just been with multiple women. I'm sorry, with multiple men. That's why we don't (laughs) like... We see the life you're living. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) Anyway. um, (laughs) He said she threw me off. Anyway. (laughs) Yeah, we're definitely living a good life (laughs) right about now. Uh, Anyway, so we just don't, we don't, we don't know the kids are. So we want to make sure that the woman is a little bit less hoish. Then the people, you know, that we just going to not take serious. That's all I'm saying. And then the last one is attractiveness. I don't care how how mm. confident you are. Confidence is not going to matter. It doesn't change your attractiveness for us. If you're not even attractive, we don't even care about the other parts. So that's why that's number one. Okay. So. Well, um. Any drawbacks or. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Debates or. Um, yeah, yeah. Because, um. What was it you just said? Because I, I have blind moments where I forget things sometimes. So please. I said me. the only three things men want is a feminine, uh-huh. loyal, uh-huh. attractive uh-huh. woman. Attractive first, loyal second, feminine last. Okay, I forgot what I was going to tell you. So, okay, let's go. <laughs> all right, let's continue. Like physically and like emotionally in all aspects. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> I am one with the soundboard. Uh, okay, so I would say if we're going to keep it very simple, men are, there's three basic things, right? Is she fit, feminine, uh, submissive, or friendly? Right? Four things, actually. And if she has these things covered, then that's a foundation. Can we, can we lay them down again? So you said fit, okay, submissive. So, yeah, fit, submissive, friendly, uh, and feminine. And, and submissive would be, you can say compliant, you know. Yeah. Uh, Why not, do you say friendly? So wait, no, no, no. Friendly. Hold on, I, hold on. I want to know submissive and compliant. So compromising and like being like. I, I'm, I'm saying sub, uh, compliant and submissive is the same thing. A lot of modern day women don't mm-hmm. like the word submissive. Mm-hmm. So we sometimes we have to rephrase it for them and let them know. Hey, submissive isn't a bad word. Mm-hmm. It simply means that you're complying. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um. And so that's what you're looking you're for. Coachable too. So can you can we just lay those on again? Sorry, one more time. Okay. Uh, it is uh, fit, friendly, submissive. Um, and feminine. feminine. If we're gonna have base, uh, four basic things, and then for a serious relationship, most guys are gonna care about your past to a degree. Okay. So some kind of discernment from the yeah. woman. And just after that as well, um, be considerate is very important. Yeah. So for example, shout out to Kevin. Let's say right, if you want to know what a guy really wants, I'd value his life. So let's say Definitely. I have a business, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, I need someone to maybe every now and then take some phone calls for me while I'm, you know, doing some paperwork. Mm-hmm. You see, you know what? My man needs this. I fill that void. Guess what? The table that you bring to, you know, your table that you bring, it has some food on it. Because now he says, you know what? <laughs> you actually bring them into the table where uh, the other girl I just smashed, there's no value there. Facts. Okay. So this brings up a good question I want to ask you personally. Throughout your life, do have you seen that when you are dating guys, do you tend to, I guess, put your life and your, your things maybe on a slight hold to help him with his success and with his dreams? Or is it you always want your things and you always want him to have his things? No, I, I think I've always been very, very helpful with the guys. You know, I, I mean, that's a, that's an old school trait. Okay. You no, know? like, yeah. I grew up around old school people. Yeah. Like, you always step in to help in some certain type of way, especially if you have um, um, the hopes of him stepping up and providing in some way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to help how you get your bread Mm -hmm. if I want some of your bread. You know what I'm saying? So I've always been helpful. I'll help you, baby. Okay, got you. So so generally speaking, you want more of a traditional relationship, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty traditional Okay. with a little spinoff. All right, let's continue. So say adding value to that man's life, whatever it fits for him, can be the way how you get him long term. And, and, and it's typically going to be based on those four five, five principles that I gave because yeah. um, that's going to be a foundation, foundation from which the woman can uh, – because the thing is is that a, a woman – if a woman really wants to keep a guy around, you're not his co-pilot, man. You're his flight attendant. Real talk. <laughs> you got to assist him in his life to make things better. And a big reason why so many women get ghosted and or men don't take them seriously and or wipe them up or give them some real relationship is because the woman isn't an asset to him. He's a liability. Mm-hmm. Okay? So – uh, if the man is operating at a hundred, let's say you're dealing with a high status guy, right? That has his money together, whatever it is. 
and he doesn't really need you, but you're able to come in and help him go from 100% capacity to 105% capacity, and he can't really do that without your help, now you've become an indispensable asset. And I think women need to understand, once you become an indispensable asset, even if he steps out and fucks other girls, you're going to be the one with the last name. You're going to be the one with the ring. <laughs> I don't like asking this question because we always ask it on the show now. But I do got to ask you, what do you bring to the table? Because that's basically what this whole conversation is about when it comes to value and things like that nature. I Besides hate that question. sex. Huh? I hate that question. I, that's what I just said. Why? I preface that with that. That's why I don't even like asking that question. But what I got to ask. What do you bring to the table? I hate this question. What do you bring? Okay, let me change it. What I bring what to the table. What values okay. do you bring to a man's life that he already doesn't have? Everything is on a case-for-case -case basis. So what I bring to the table for each man is going to be a different thing. Okay. So I'm not bringing one dish at, to every... To every Thanksgiving, I'm not bringing the same damn dish. I'm switching it up. So it's on a case per case basis. So unfortunately, I can't really answer that question because mm. I bring different things to the de table for different men because all men are different to me. This mm. man needs something different than this man needs something different. And this, th so why would I bring just one thing? Hmm. I'm going to call cap on that. I, I, don't, I truly don't believe that men have this huge different differentiator between. I want you to bring this, and then this man don't want you to bring that. I, 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 Men have different needs. That is true. So that's but what I, I mean. haven't, I haven't met. I know a lot of niggas. I know a lot of women. I haven't met a lot of dudes that says, "Oh, I don't want a submissive, um, fit, um, attractive, loyal woman." So, versus. So wait. So sorry to interrupt you. Yes. What? answer are you looking for when you ask what i'm just asking you what qualities that you have like what qualities what traits do you have that you bring to relationships that you go into besides sex I don't, you know i maybe maybe i just need to because i've never really understood that question mm, and okay. i feel like the setup is to get such a pageant answer mm. like what answer are you expecting to get from asking me what am i bringing to the table first we shouldn't even be asking that question <laughs> okay okay let's just start there that's what we're talking about <laughs> people need to stop asking certain questions okay that's one question that doesn't need to be asked if you have to ask a woman what is she bringing to the table you don't know her you mm. should be able to see how i move and know what i add or what i'd be bringing to the table mm. if you even have a table for me to play something on mm. not i mean mm. are we talking about if you have a fold out flimsy ass table or do you have granite countertops because it's different I got granite counter cups. All right. So for you, okay, how about this? This might be a better question. Okay. Um, what particular thing did you bring to someone's life that added value to their life? Give me an example of I'm something. I'm a helpmate. A what? I'm a helpmate. A helpmate? Yeah. What is that? I'm a helpmate. Like like how we were talking about the, the, the guy was talking about if he has business or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm very creative and I'm always able to step in in some form or fashion and add value to something mm -hmm. in some form or fashion. Okay. Then that That's answers the question. There we go. Let's continue. And you're going to be the one with the Range Rover <laughs> and the children. So um, men are as only as faithful as their options. We, cut, we say uncomfortable things about women and about men. And if a man has a certain type of status, you're going to have to share him sexually. But that does not mean that you're going to share his heart. Yeah, like, for example. Uh, mm, this brings up another great question. Um, for you personally, would you rather have a boring, more monogamous dude who doesn't have that much money, who's average in height, who average in looks, who's basically just an average dude, but he's loyal as fuck when it comes to not fucking other women versus someone who's way more attractive, way more fun. Y'all go on more trips, etc. But he's made fuck a woman from time to time. Which one would you actually choose and be 100% honest and why? Give me fun, Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> Give me fun. And then why or why not? But, <laughs> Give me fun. Okay. But do not bring that shit to my doorstep because then it's over. What do you mean bring it to the doorstep? Um, you know, back in the days, your 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 your, your grandfather mm -hmm. had two families and your mama didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Like because it never came back to her doorstep. Oh, good. You understand me? Yeah. Don't bring that shit back to my doorstep. If you're gonna do what you're doing, don't be sloppy about it. Okay. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that goes both ways. Don't be sloppy about it. Like, don't bring, don't have nobody call on my phone. Mm -hmm. Don't have nobody at my doorstep. That's when the problems arise. Either then, 
you know? Okay, got you. Let's continue. Keep it a buck. A girl came to see me right from uh, te uh, Texas, and like, you know, she came to my spot. She saw us in the gym, started working on it, and shit like that. She's like, you know what? I see how I can add, add value. She left, went, went back to Texas, went on Amazon, and bought like some, you know, water jug for me. You know what I'm saying? Bought she some bought plug, what? Sorry? A water jug. Okay. Right, for the gym. She bought some, like, some wristbands for me. So, like, I was like, you know what? That's been considered because now you're saying, you know what? I'm in the gym. I want a certain paying lifestyle. Attention. She's paying attention. That's very value thoughtful. to my life. Absolutely. So it's yeah. very important. Yeah. I yeah. Did that so I think if women look, try to like uh, look at like holes in the guy's lifestyle where she can help in yeah. and compliment and become an asset, that's how you start to put yourself in a position where other girls can't really replace you because mm -hmm. you have something powerful, which is knowledge, and now you've made yourself an asset versus a liability. And if I think the faster a woman can turn herself into an asset versus a liability, eating away at his money, making him buy you stuff, whatever it is, wanting to go out on expensive trips and all that other stuff. He's gonna look at you like, ah, oh, this is just another girl that's gonna come in here and extract resources from mm -hmm. you. And it's not being a mom and nagging. It's actually finding, like, okay, you know what? He needs this. Not saying, oh, you should do this. Nah, I see a loophole here. Let me ask some value there. Okay, so question. This might get a little personal, but gotta ask. So for you personally, it seems like you know what you're talking about. It seems like you know you have an idea what men want. You have an idea what you have, what values you have, and what values you bring <laughs> to yourself. So then, why is it that, um, you know, you're not in fucking florida somewhere married with 25 kids or whatever well um i don't want 25 kids but um that was exaggeration 2.5 i'm sorry <laughs> he went to the max <laughs> um so you're basically asking why am i not married yeah why you're not married why you don't have the kids why you don't have the the lifestyle of the traditional that you say that you want um unless you still live in the the fun you know lifestyle obviously well, one, you got to take that up with Jesus. That's first. Oh. But two, <laughs> but two, um, right now, I'm not focused on that. I'm really focused on establishing myself a little better, mm. you know, because financially? I, or what do you all, mean? all the above, mentally, okay. financially, um, because I danced for quite a bit of time. Mm -hmm. It was honestly a setback when I left the club. Wow. I had to go to therapy because my mind was mm. stuck in in a, in a place. You understand mm. my the, how I operated mm -hmm. was strip club mentality. Even after I got to my first job, which was Papa Doe, I okay. was trash. Wow. I was still dealing, operating in a in an adult entertainment right. era. So yeah, um, I call myself a late bloomer. Okay, you know, like I I. This pandemic, mm -hmm. I learned so much about myself. Okay. Like, so I'm really learning a lot about myself and, you know, my likes and what I'll deal with and how to not take things personal. So right now I'm on a self journey. Now, I would okay. love to be in a relationship. Um, and I give time to dating every now and again. Mm -hmm. But, and I end up actually with good guys in front of me that have good situations. But? But then they turn to ain't shit. I don't know. <laughs> They turn to ain't shit. Yeah. Okay. I think that's most dudes. You know, <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> what do you mean? So, when it comes to dudes that you're probably choosing, are they are they are they rich? Are they successful? Are they or they just have difference of everything? They're all different. They're okay. all different. Cause I like I told you before. Clearly, I know that I'm not choosing the right thing. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> He's like, bitch. I'm like, where? I'm here. Did somebody say, bitch. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> so now that I know that, I'm, uh -huh. I'm trying to try new things. So yeah. the last guy that I talked to, um, he's an only child. He was a college graduate. Mm. Um, he has a good job. Mm. He owns a home. Mm. You know, like... Okay, then why... He, he even played the piano for me. <laughs> <laughs> he played the piano for you? He, yeah. he was like John Legend singing he got a shit? Piano. Yeah. Okay. But what... The communication went to shits, and I'm not going for it. I know what I, what I, what my expectations and what I, you know. Okay. And then I didn't hear from him when I was supposed to hear from him, and then all of a sudden I seen him in the strip club. Oh wait, what? Hold on. You, <laughs> what happened to the original plot of the movie? <laughs> so <laughs> you said, let's say that last part of the game one more time. Like I, like let's say you go out of town. Yes. And you say, okay, I'm coming back in town on Saturday. Yes. I'm gonna call you when I come back in town. Yes. I say, okay, because now I'm being. I'm being feminine. I'm mm -hmm. trying to let you, you know, okay, call me back, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Saturday comes, I don't hear from you the whole day. Yeah. And then I go to work because mm -hmm. I bartend mm -hmm. at the strip club. Yes. And then I see you at the strip club mm. with a mask on. So I have to take a double take like. 
Okay, so anyway, <laughs> seems to me that you're not choosing the right guys. That's number one. Let me just keep it a buck on the show. We always do. Um, so for you, when it comes to dating, are you dating now with a purpose or are you just dating just to date and fill in the spots of your um, finding yourself? No, I've always, I, 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 don't, I don't believe in not dating with a purpose. Oh, it's so. a waste of time. I don't need you to just come so you could pay bills for me or just take me to mm-hmm. lunch dates. I can get that with friends. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got you. All right. Well, I had to ask that question. Let's uh, wrap it up. Question? No, I agree with you. I do it all the time, so I get it. Cool. All right. See, I used to do that with my ex. Mm-hmm. I, I will push him. I'll be like, okay, I see you need something, I'm, and I'm not even going to ask you. I'm just going to do it for you. And I'll remind him, be like, okay, hey, did you pay your phone bill? He'll be like, no, I forgot I've been working. I'm like, okay, don't worry about it. I got you. I paid. So, and he'll be like, oh, you pay my bill for me? I was like, yeah. I'm like, because you paid my bills for me last month without without me asking. And then he also, he was working on his music. I was like, hey, did you get into the studio? I'm like, don't forget, you got to meet it at this time, this time, this time. He's like, how do you know? I'm like, because when you're doing your work, I'm paying attention to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. But at the mm-hmm. same time, I know there were things I needed from him that he was not catching on to. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. I needed simple yeah. things. I like to give me a flowers every now and then. I'm a very simple, basic person. He definitely loved to spend time with me, but his way of spending well, time sometimes with him, was him buying me stuff. I am not a materialistic person. What? <laughs> People have to understand that uh, um, everybody has different love languages. I keep hearing about this, and go on. I do want to okay. hear a little bit more. Everybody has different love languages. Mm-hmm. So let's say your let's say my love language is physical touch. Yeah. And your love language is gifts. Okay. Or acts of uh, service. Yeah. And then I come over here, and I'm like this. Yeah, yeah. All on you. Mm-hmm. Well, that's how I want to be loved. Yes. That's not how you want to be loved. So yeah. you're like. Okay, yeah. but you're not reading into it like how I think I'm giving it because that's my love language. Mm. That's not yours. And people are always trying to do what their love language is to other people instead of mm. finding out what their love language is. Gotcha. Guys don't oh. trick girls Clip. out their pussy. They feed into their love language. Clip. Clipping that. All right. That's dope. So you're just saying in which I agree with 100% that you, since you like accepting things like that way you projecting those things to other people that way instead of understanding the other person and how they want to be loved and then doing that mm-hmm. okay okay all right let's continue i don't care i don't care for it. it's nice enough of course you don't like new shoes prada that's lovely i'm a quality time person give me flowers give me something that's more memorable let's go do a picnic this was something like that he's into designer he want to give me a purse give me a shoe give me jewelry that's cool but give me some flowers i told him that he didn't give me the flowers i was like okay let me try something else let me post it on um instagram i was like oh these flowers are so pretty they're on sale at this store let's try to drop uh, some hints subliminal yeah, some, some yeah. Yeah. He, got, he flipped that into why are you out here posting pictures of flowers? So do some me your dance and be like, I can get it for you. Da, 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 da. I was like, no, I posted it for you because you weren't paying attention. Mm. And I'm like, okay. And that's what I go into when we have arguments. I ask him, like, okay, what do you need? Is there something I'm not doing? Is there anything I can do more than what I do? So I how did he lot. not fulfill you? Was it just like not giving you enough uh, attention and time? Is that no, what he was? gave me attention and time, but it was more so the emotional. And our his communication is horrible. Like I would, I, I would, I would was he to, paying the bills? Was he? Was um, he? If I needed him to, like to wear, because was, was he paying the bills? Based off of what she was saying, no. No, yeah. no, no. I'm saying for you. I'm oh, for was, you. oh, was somebody? Oh, ain't the nobody dude that paying you was dating, That was he helping you financially? No, that's why I, they don't. No, ain't nobody okay. paying my bills. Okay. They you should. They should be though. You say what? I said, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. They should be though. Pandemic and everything came in. A lot of shit changed. I definitely need some assistance. My job was shut down for that time. They wasn't paying us. So he paid my bills once. He knows me to where I don't want you paying my bills. And you, one, you're not my husband because I'm not going to give you the word that. <laughs> All right. So we already talked about, let's, that's just a whole nother subject. So let's go yeah. back to the original <laughs> plot of this movie. Um, so we talked about what men and women want, basically. So when it comes for you personally, if someone is not giving you what you want, but they're I guess a good fit for you. Are you more willing to stick it out and just stay with them, or you you definitely want what you want and you gotta have it or you out? 
No, 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 no. I'm willing to compromise. I'm definitely willing to compromise. I think that's why I, I and I hate to say this, that's why I don't mind these days dating the cornies. Because why do y'all date the cornies? Well, I just say it like that because it's, it's I feel what's like. What's a corny do? What's a corny do? Well, I mean, no, what's a corny, corny is a personality, but okay, what what's I mean. A corny personality to you? It's not about what's a corny personality to me, but okay, let's just say like. The the fraternity college guy. Yeah. Did this in a bromance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm more inclined now to deal with a little bit more corny because I've dealt with the guy that can take you to the Cabo and, and all that type of stuff. Okay. And so at the end of the day, the the corny guy might have a better resume as far as longevity for me. Okay. Which is what I'm looking for. So he might not be paying the bills mm-hmm. off the back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I want to translate this for the people that's watching. When she says corny, I truly believe that you're talking about just a more normal person. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I let's am. keep it a buck. Let's I keep am. it a buck. So when you're talking about corny, you're just talking about more of a normal person who's normal yeah. height, who probably have a normal lifestyle, who's a normal average yeah. dude that may play video games because he's tired corny. from going to work all day. So when you say corny, that's why I don't like that word because it probably just means it's more than average. I mean, I'm, yeah, average dude. But yeah, okay, I'll, translate I'll, for say, the people. I'll say average. Okay. Thank you. Now, so for you personally, you have found yourself growing up, I guess, dating the, the, the people that are above average, getting shit on, get shit on, shit on, shit on, getting treated like shit, 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 etc. Now that you're a little bit older, you're saying that you're dating more average people, you would say. I'm saying I'm mixing them into the thing. Mm. Got you. Because so, so. one thing, <laughs> one thing that I want to v- make very, very clear, clear is niggas ain't shit. <laughs> no, and the niggas you fuck with ain't shit. No, continue. niggas ain't shit. Uh-huh. Niggas ain't shit. I ain't shit either. But niggas ain't shit. And whether it be the average mm-hmm. or whether it be the lit, they both ain't shit. You know, but the, the difference between, you know, between the two and where I am in life is, mm-hmm. you know, one is instant gratuity That's true right no no i get what you're saying one is one is more one, like one is that. like i can buy you bags and bags. shoes and fly yeah, you, and like you this. can get yeah. food out yeah. right yeah but then it's not gonna last mm-hmm. for sure yeah and then this one is you know i might take you to nice dinners or whatever mm-hmm. but you know in the end mm-hmm. you might be a housewife and i have to pay not a thing so you know okay. like so it just depends like i just be juggling both because sometimes i get tired of the the average and i just be wanting to take a trip <laughs> that's on you exactly that's on you so i'm sure you probably got hella dudes in your dms that are just average dudes that's willing to take care of you um you know to take care of you and be a housewife type of thing and then be a regular life but you're not giving them shots. No, I do. Oh, you do. I give everybody shots. That's, not that's cap. I'm about to say that's cap. Yeah, that, 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 that that's, damn that's shows. definitely cap. Not everybody, but you know what I mean. Like I, I it's not like I don't go for one kind of guy. Mm-hmm. I, I, I date, I date across the board. How tall are you? Huh? How tall are you? Um, mentally or physically? What the fuck? So you could be tall mentally. Yes. <laughs> How tall are you physically? <laughs> I'm five one and a quarter. Have you ever physically. dated someone shorter than you? Yes, not too long ago, actually. No. Well, no, not no. Wait, you said shorter than me. No, shorter. I'm like, okay, no, no, no. I haven't dated anybody. <laughs> okay, gotcha. No, but he was pretty short. He was close. He was close to my height. <laughs> okay. He wasn't shorter than me. Nah, you can't be shorter than me. I'm not even gonna hold you. Okay. Have you dated a guy who makes way less money than you? Um. Yes. In the past. How far in the past? We talking about? <laughs> we talking about when you was like a kid, or are we talking about recently in the past five years? A little years? further back than that. I mean, no, 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 no. Um, my grandma told me to date somebody on your level or above. So I, I you don't believe in dating people with potential? Yeah, you can have potential where I'm at and a and above. <laughs> That's not potential. I'm talking about someone who doesn't have money life together yet. They just have potential to get their life together. Yeah, you can have you can have potential, but we're gonna start where I'm at. And above. Okay, so that means no. That if he no, still li- lives with his mom in his mom's basement. Live with your mama? Get out of here. Get he's, out of here. He's building a business right now. Live with your mama? Let me tell you something. If, <laughs> if you... No, you know what? Let me let me be nice. He lives with his mom if because he's building. In, if you live... If you, okay, you're right. Take it back. If you live with your mom, mm-hmm. 
You better be living with your mom because you want to buy a house because you're about to buy a house next year. Mm. You better be staying with your mom, but you own your own business. Mm. Okay. It better make, make, make sense. <laughs> it better make, make, you make sense. You staying with your mom right now because she's elder mm -hmm. and she needs a little assistance. So you went back home to help her. Gotcha. It better sound something like that. Mm. You better not be at your mama's house in the basement playing uh, Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she even know that game. All yeah. right. So point is, you barely won't take potential unless it's a potential makes really, really clear, clear cut sense for you. Yes. All right. So now that we got all of that out the way. For you personally, going forward in your life, do you realize that time is ticking and that the longer you wait, the less valuable to the marketplace of men you become? Yeah, that's the sad part. Okay. <laughs> that is the sad part. I, I do know that, but I'm keeping... <laughs> no, we keeping a buck on this show. Yeah. I'm keeping the hope alive. Okay? <laughs> I'm keeping it alive. I'm keeping the hope alive. Uh-huh. And... Um, the good part about it is, is um, my Caribbean side of the family taught me good things, and I I know how to cook. Mm -hmm. and so I bring know, that to the table, and I know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> so, I know what to do with it. So at the end of the day, you know, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, you can't force you force your way into the situation. You're gonna be unhappy. Not true all the way. Not true always. Not always. Majority. I'll, De no, I wouldn't say majority. It just it all depends. It all depends. So you're going to force your way into a happy situation? Yes. It can definitely work if you have a right leadership of a man who knows how to create a situation that is a good foundation of a, a healthy relationship. Yes, 100%. This is Atlanta. Now stop. Now that's Cap. Well, I don't date Atlanta bitches. I date bitches that can't even speak English, basically. <laughs> they just moved here from fucking... I don't know, a foreign place. That's a lot I date, personally. So when it comes to relationships that I be in, yes, I can uh, definitely, <laughs> I can definitely, you know, mold the situation to where it makes sense for both of us to be happy, travel, etc., things like that nature. Mold the situation. He want to mold the bitch. That's what he basically, yeah. He done went and got a foreigner, and <sighs> he trying to mold. You, I'm done. Men like submissive feminine woman if you are submissive someone has let to be dominant let me ask you a question someone has to be dominant Hold for you on. to be submissive no 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 yes or no for you to be submissive someone has to be dominant right yes but okay, okay. yes so, so now let me ask you a question okay go ahead do you date black women do i date black women the, all my women that i've dated has been technically african descent what is technically what does that mean latin women are technically latin descent i'm sorry african descent too Yes or no? Thank you. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. Okay. So, yeah. Yes. You can try to say what you guys, how you guys think about What? That. No, say, say. What? <laughs> What's up? Talk to me. We keep it real on this podcast. What? Yeah, and if we're keeping it real, uh huh. this gentleman right here uh huh. does not date African women. He doesn't. Nah, it depends on the woman. I've dated. He doesn't. When's the last first, time you dated? My first girlfriend was black. My Your second first girlfriend, girlfriend? My first my first girlfriend. How long ago was that? When I date someone, it's for a long time. So how long? When was, when was your first relationship? You said your first. Yes, when I was 18. That was about 10 years ago-ish. But you got to you gotta, you gotta remember. You, hold on. I got to add some context before you get all crazy. I add context to the situation. When I date a woman... It's for a long period of time because I put women through a lot of tests. Like me and my homies literally be like, hey, go talk to that girl real quick. I want to see if, if she's loyal, if she's if she would be down for to talk to you and to see how you move, etc. They'll literally go talk to her and she passes or she fails. All right, she failed, put her in the whole category. Just fuck her, don't get attached. Oh, she passed, put her in the you know, relationship category. But when I date women, like when I dated her, it was like a year. My next girlfriend was two years. My next girlfriend Wait, was three years. Wait, you just said you date them for a long period of time. And now yes. you're saying that that first relationship was only for a year? Yes, that's a long time. So when's the next time you dated a black, an African woman? After that was another African woman. That was another year. Then after that was two years. And after that, was, she was Latin. Now, now I'm starting to get to a little the Latin taste of people. And now it goes two years, two years, and then seven years. So when I date a woman, I date them for a long period of time because I put them through so much shit before I date them. You're saying the long period of time is the year. 
No, no, no. That was just the beginning when I was younger. That was a long time. Then later, two years, three years, four years, seven years is a long period of time. So have you had a long period of time with an African woman? African woman, no, because I put that time into someone who was Latin. So you can't, I can't date, well, you technically can't date multiple. But I'm not dating multiple because then, you know, that defeats the purpose of the relationship shit. So okay. I'm confused by the, even the question. So no, have I dated them now for a long period of time? No, but am I opposed to? No, she just has to fit the right categories that I want in a woman. African women are light skinned, just like dark skinned women. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, African women. Yeah, there's are dark. a lot of variables of That's us. So I point. never said, did you date a dark skinned woman? I just said, exactly, African. Yes, so they not have, Latin. They have African descent, though. African. <laughs> they have African. The descent ones that too. actually believe in their Afro Latino descent. <laughs> we get off topic. Okay, right I'm just now. saying. <laughs> we get off topic like a motherfucker. Um, point is, I don't discriminate. Point is, um, yeah, we definitely. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what is your Instagram? My Instagram is it's Danielle Rochelle. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. If you want to follow her, the link will be in the description below as well. Join the Patreon Army. We are trying to be independent 100%. We're trying to get away from the monetization, all the other extra bullshit. And I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Do I date black women? <laughs>